Hello, my name is Mark Sabatella. I'm the Director of Education for MuseScore. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you some of the accessibility features in MuseScore 3.3. We've made a lot of improvements here, and we uh, uh, think that for the first time it's going to be a really usable tool for both reading existing scores and creating your own scores. So the main command that I'm going to use here is Alt plus Write. This is the navigation command that moves through a score one element at a time. So I have a score loaded and I'm going to read through what's there and then I'm going to add some more notes to it. So I'm going to press alt right. Vertical frame title Mary had a little guide lamp. So it read the title of the score. Next alt right. Bar line normal bar line measure one beat one staff one piano. And that's the bar line at the beginning of the first system. I'm going to keep pressing alt right until I reach the first note. Treble clef beat one. Key signature G major, E minor beat one. Time signature four slash four time beat one. Note B four quarter beat one dynamic MF tempo moderato start of slur. So once I reached the first note, it played that note and it read all the markings associated with it. If I didn't need to hear the markings, I could just continue navigating. Um, because actually when I do continue navigating, it's going to visit those markings individually. Dynamic MF beat one. Tempo moderato beat one. And this is useful because you might want to delete one. Slur start measure one start beat one end measure two end beat three. So it told me about the slur both where it started and where it ended. When I hit alt right again, it's going to take me now to the next note. Note A four quarter measure one beat two. That was beat two. Let's move on. Note G four quarter beat three. And that was beat three. Moving on. Note E4 quarter, beat 3. That was also beat 3, so that's telling me that both of those notes were on beat 3. It's a chord. Uh, I'm going to go on. Note A4 quarter, beat 4. So that's beat 4, a quarter note. That's the end of that measure. I'll, I'll go ahead and hit Alt right again just to uh, confirm that. Bar line, normal bar line, measure 2, beat 1. So I've reached the bar line at the end of the measure. Well, at this point, though, I'm curious about the... Uh, um, the bottom staff, because this is a, a, a piece for piano. If you didn't already uh, know that, uh, you would want to find out how many staves are in the piece. So I'm going to use Alt plus up and down to move through the staves. So the first thing I want to do is get back to the first note. So I'm just going to hit the left arrow to go back a note at a time. It won't stop on any other markings. It'll just go a note at a time. Note, note, G, note, A, note B four quarter beat one dynamic MF tempo moderato start of slur. So I'm back at the beginning of the piece. I'm going to hit Alt plus down to get to the bottom staff. Note G two half beat one staff two, piano. So there's a G half note. Now I'm going to hit Alt right again. Note C three half beat three. And that will be the end of that measure. Um, uh, let me uh, just uh, get back up to the top staff with Alt plus up arrow. Note E four quarter B three staff one. And piano. Now, now I'm just going to use the right arrow without alt uh, to just move through the notes and rests without stopping on things because I want to get into that second measure. The second measure uses multiple voices and uh, you'll hear it read both the, the names of the voices. Note A four quarter B four. So that's the end of measure one. Here comes the start of measure two. Note B four quarter voice one measure two beat one. So voice one. When I hit alt right now, I'm going to start moving again uh, at an element at a time with alt right. Um, when I do that, it's going to read each voice one at a time. So uh, here comes alt right. Note D four half voice two beat one. So that was also on beat one. It was a half note on beat one, whereas voice one had a quarter note on beat one. Alt right again will take me to the next note. Note B four quarter voice one beat two. And I'll keep using alt right. Note B4 half voice 1 beat 3 end of slur. And keep going. Note E4 quarter voice 2 beat 3. And again. Note D4 quarter voice 2 beat 4. Again. Bar line normal bar line measure 3 beat 1. So that's the end of that measure and starting measure 3. When I hit alt right again. Rest measure beat 1. So rest measure means a measure rest. This is an empty measure. That's as many notes as I've entered into this piece. So this is the point at which I would like to continue the piece. So far I've just entered the B, A, G, A, B, B, B of Mary Had a Little Lamb. I would like to continue this for a couple measures. So I'm going to go and start entering notes because uh, this is now what's 
going to be uh, uh, allow you to create your own music. So to enter notes, I'm going to press N uh, on my keyboard to enter note input mode. N. And then to enter notes, you first select a duration and then enter the pitches. So the duration shortcuts are four, five, and six for eighth note, quarter note, half note. There's more than that, but those are the easy to remember um, set right there. So quarter note is five. Five. And then I'm going to type my pitches. There's a couple of A quarter notes. A, note A four quarter beat one. A, note A four quarter beat two. Next, I need a half note A, so I'll type six and then A. Six. A, note A four half beat three. Next, I need um, B, D, D, so quarter note B, 5 B. 5 B, note B, 4 quarter measure, 4 B, 1. And then a quarter note D. D, note D, 5 quarter B, 2. And now I need to switch to the half note duration, so I'll press 6. 6. And then another D. D, note D, 5 half B, 3. So that completes that phrase. I'll hit escape now to leave note input mode. And now I'm going to move the cursor back to uh, the beginning of that third measure. So I'm going to hit control left arrow. That's going to move the that's going to move my cursor back to the beginning of the measure I'm on. Note B4 quarter beat 1. And then I'm going to do it again, which will take me to the previous measure. Note A4 quarter measure 3 beat 1. So here is where I would like to enter a dynamic marking piano. So I'm going to get to the palettes, and this is one of the new things in, in MuseScore 3.3, the accessibility of the palettes and the way I can navigate them with the keyboard. Shift tab is what's going to, or tab is going to, uh, tab and shift tab will move through all the different toolbars and windows. If you're in the score though, shift tab will usually take you straight to the palettes window. MuseScore 3 window. So it didn't read the name palettes, but we are in the palettes window, as you will know when we start navigating within this window by pressing tab. Add palettes button. So you hear there's an add palettes button. Search edit blank. And then a search box where we could actually search for specific markings if we know their names. For piano, I could search for P, but there's a lot of things starting with a P, so that's not necessarily the best way of doing it. I'm going to hit a uh, tab again. Clefs not selected. So now I'm actually on a palette, the clefs palette. That's not the one I want, though. I want dynamics palette. So I'm going to use the down arrow to move quickly through the palettes until I find dynamics. Key signatures, not time signature, accidentals, articulation, grace notes, lines not, bar lines not, text not, tempo not, so, dynamics not selected. So there you hear I'm on the dynamics palette. If I then press the right arrow to expand that palette, it will expand, and then when I press it again, it will start navigating through the elements of that palette. PPP not selected, PP not selected. P not selected. So there's where I want. I want the P for piano. So all I have to do to enter this now, I've already selected. Uh, the cursor is right there on the A at the beginning of the measure, and that's where I want the P to appear. So I'm just going to press Enter, and it's going to enter that P on my A. Muse score 3.3 release candidate 3. Mary had a little guide lamb star window. Mary had a little guide lamb dynamic P beat 1. So you hear that it read that it, there is now a dynamic marking P on beat one. So at this point, um, actually because I would like to hear the rest of this score, I am going to uh, enter some notes into the bottom staff. Um, so I'm going to press uh, Alt-Right, because right now the, the piano, the, the dynamic marking is selected. I want to get back to a note. So I'm going to press Alt-Right. And at this point, you can hear it played the note, but it didn't read. This will happen occasionally. The, the uh, way I know to uh, get the screen reader back is to press Alt to get to the menu bar and then Escape to get back to the score. File Alt plus F. Mary had a little guide lamb note A4 quarter B2. Okay, so I'm on that A, but I want to get to the bottom staff, so I'm going to press Alt down. Rest measure beat one staff two. Piano. Yeah. And now I just want to enter a couple of notes. I'm going to go to note input mode, yeah. and then I will, well, I pressed N, and then I'm just going to enter, I'll keep this simple, a whole note D and a whole note G. So 7 is going to be my shortcut for whole note. 4, 5, 6 is half, is, sorry, eighth note, quarter, half. 7 is then whole note. So 7. 7. And I'll enter a D. D. Note D, 2 whole, beat 1. That's maybe not the octave I want, so I'm going to press control up arrow to get it up an octave. Note D three whole beat one, and then I'll enter a G whole note in the next measure. G 
Note G3 hole measure for beat 1. And again, maybe that's not the octave I want, so I'll press Control down. Note G2 hole beat 1. It always picks the closest octave to where you just were. So uh, I have now completed entering all the notes of this score. I would love to hear it. So I'm going to press Escape to get out of note input mode. I'm going to press Control Home to move the cursor back to the beginning of the score. Bar line normal bar line measure one beat one staff one piano. That, that puts it on the bar line, but I really want to. Uh, in order for the playback uh, thing to work, it you really should select a note. Um, so I'm just going to hit the right arrow to take me to the next note in the score. Right and left arrows without Alt will only go through notes and rest. They'll skip all the clefs and key signatures and bar lines and so forth. Note B four quarter beat one dynamic MF tempo moderato start of slur. So now I'm on the first note of the score and I can press space and hear both the part I had already written and the part that I just added. Space. And there you have it. This has been a demonstration of the accessibility features of MuseScore that I used to read the existing notes in that score and to add more notes and markings to it.